Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Colourpop haul and trying some of the new stuff that I got from Colourpop. And I'm just going to be doing a haul of like a few beauty products that I got recently that are also kind of outside of Colourpop products too. I've been doing a lot of makeup videos really. I do, I am going to have some recently, recently, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I am going to have some more beauty stuff going up, so, not beauty stuff, I am going to have some more fashion content coming up, I'm working on that very soon, and hopefully you guys will like that stuff and this stuff, so yeah, I'm going to move on to the video and get started. So the first thing that I got was the Maleficent collection, and the first thing I'm going to show you guys out of there is the highlighter. And this is in the color, I think it's just in the color Maleficent, but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch it. And I'm just letting you guys know the reason I have makeup on now and I didn't before in the after or the before is because for some reason me showing you guys the first thing, the Maleficent, cut out. So I just wanted to film that part so that it all meshes together and makes sense. And I'm um, swatch that, and here's what that looks like. It's like a a soft gold, a soft gold champagne. It's like a beautiful color, and I love how it has the cartoon like Maleficent on the front. And then the lip gloss in the color Maleficent, same color. And hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna do the old beauty guru thing, which is put my hand up here hopefully you guys can see how cute this bottle is and it says villains on the front and it has the maleficent little symbols and stuff and it's a berry type of color and it says on the back it says hopefully you guys can see this embossing it says villains and this is a really 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 pretty color and I'm really excited to use it. And then we have the gloss. That's also, that's in the color My Pet. And here's that in the middle, that silvery. It has a lot of chromes, like duo chrome and stuff. Hopefully you can see the tones of it. It's similar to the tone. It's like a little bit pinkish and it has some glitter in it, which I'm really excited to use that. And then I got a lipstick from the Frozen 2 collection. And I got the lipstick in the color Little Snow. And this is a like red type color, but it's like a rosy red. And it doesn't have any embossing on it or anything, but the tube is so pretty as like hopefully you can see. It has like snowflakes and stuff. It's really pretty and it says Frozen 2 on the front. And it's just a really gorgeous lipstick tube. They really like did really good on the packaging of these things. And then I bought some single eyeshadows which the rest of this haul is just single eyeshadows. And the first single eyeshadow I got is this one right here. It, I used it once yesterday to try it out just... I wasn't even going nowhere. I literally just did my makeup for no reason. It's in the color Good Thing. And this is my neutral matte palette, which is why it's in here and it's separate from the other things. And the other shadows I got, I put in my big Z palette, which I don't know if they even still sell those. I've had this one for a long time. But a lot of the stuff in here was like old and expired and crusty. And I just took it out, threw it away because it needed to just be gone. It was just gross and old, so yeah. And here are the other colors that I got. And the first one is, ooh, I just dig my. It's in the color Star Child, but it broke. It completely just broke and fell. Well, that sucks. I guess I'm going to move on. The next color is in the color KK. And it is this mauve -y. It's a matte like mauve purple. Then I have the color Mariposa. And this was from the Butterfly Collection. 
hopefully you guys can see this isn't exactly matte. I really hope it's focusing on this. It's not exactly matte. It has a little shimmer in it. And it's really pretty. It has little gold shimmers in it. And then I have the color Let Me Explain. And that's like a, ooh, a really pretty, pretty inner corner type color. And it like, there we go. It's kind of similar to the highlight, but a little bit less pink. Then I have the color Miser, and it's a metallic. And that's like a really, really, really pretty color. And the last color in here is the color Nectar. And it's like a pink, but it's kind of mauve. It has little mauve sparkles throughout it. And here is that color. Hopefully it's showing up true to color. The, co the camera isn't picking it up as gorgeous as it really is. I'm still really bummed about that one shadow. That was the favorite shadow of what I got. There's a tiny bit left in the pan. I'll still swatch, swatch it. And that was in the color Star Child. It was a metallic. See how pretty that is? Man, I'm sad. And then there were five. But these are still really pretty colors. And I'm excited to use them. And then the other beauty stuff that I got is I went to TJ Maxx today. And I got this magnetic eyeliner and lashes from Ardell. And I think I'm going to try those today. And from Wet n Wild, I got the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. I can't remember what color this is. Of the packaging is kind of taken away from the color. And then I got the liquid, the L liquid, liquid catsuit high shine lipstick in the color wine is the an is the answer. And let me swatch this. And here's what that looks like. But today I'm going to use the ColourPop stuff because that's mainly what this video is about. I figure out where I want to start at if I want to start with face or eyes. But um, I haven't used color. I haven't used ColourPop shadows. I only have like the ColourPop shadows that I had when they first started before I bought these, which was a long time ago. So I don't know if they've reformulated or anything. So I'm going to um. Well, actually, for testing purposes, I'll just do my face first. And since we're doing ColourPop video, I'll use the Pretty Fresh. I think I'll use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Because it really does be making you look poreless. I always look like I'm being so harsh when I put on my primer. I'm really not being as harsh as it looks. What I like about this is it's hydrating, but it also, like, is smoothing your pores. So it isn't, like, drying out your skin and making it look all, like, dry. But I'm also going to put a little bit of a mattifying primer in my T-zone. Which is the, um... Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stick It to Pores and it's a matte primer and now I'm going to put on the ColourPop. Always shake it up first. I don't know what it's, the pump is being weird today, but whatever. Okay, maybe I should... Yeah, I had to put my hair up because it was in the way. I guess I'll use this brush since it's a newer brush. It's the um, Real Techniques foundation brush. It's the new, like, they look completely different. Like, the gray handle and the purple bristles.
And today I don't really care to have like full coverage. I'm just gonna do one more pump and just build this up a little in certain spots. Cause I've been having a little more redness and stuff. And see this foundation is really hydrating so that's why I wanted to use um, a little bit of more of a, matte, a mattifying primer because my skin doesn't stay matte throughout the day with this if I don't. And for concealer, I guess I'm going to use the e.l.f. camo, the regular camo, the 16 hour. And I'll use this flat foundation brush. If you guys hear my brother's music, then try to cover that. I think he's taking a shower and playing music. Okay, I'm just gonna do the rest of the face steps with no sound because my brother's playing the music really loud and you, I don't wanna get copyrighted, so. Okay, so now my brother finally play stopped playing that loud ass music. I'm going to do the eyes and I showed you guys me doing the cheeks and I will tell you guys the um, highlight. I love the highlight. It just is so, it's, I don't know how to explain. It's like a glaze. It's like not even, it just looks like I would I just put like some glaze on my, the top of my cheeks. It's so pretty. Like I love that highlight. And I also did my brows off camera, but I'm going to start by highlighting my brow bone, which is the first thing I always do before I do any makeup. I like highlight my brow bone and then I'm going to take a transition color because, okay, what the heck? I thought I was recording. I hope that that at least recorded some of that because if not, that sucks, but, um, just in case, what I did was I put down a brown bone color and a transition color because none of the colors I bought were transition colors. And I'm going to focus more on the purples today. I'm going to go in with this color, even though it's not a matte exactly. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but the shimmer doesn't like completely show up. Like, it has, like, a light dusting of shimmer through it, but it's not, like, a shimmery color, per se. And the color I'm using right now is the color Mariposa, which is this color that I showed you guys earlier. And see how it gives a little, it has a little bit of shimmer, but it goes through the crease, like, really nice. And I'm going to now take the color KK, which is this color right here. Well, that's a really pretty color. I'm going to blend the edges of the top of this. For the lid, hopefully you guys actually can see this. And because in person it looks, on camera it does not look as bold as it looks in person. But this is a really pretty. Okay, now you can, you can kind of see it better. Um, I think I'm going to go with the color. 
miser on the lid, which is that's a really pretty like it's like a blue purple brown like it's like a warm brown slash blue slash purple slash like it's it has so many colors like it has so many chromes so many chromes guys and then just so I'm using like more of the colors because I would put this on my whole lid and that would be done but I'm gonna put nectar just to spice it up Oh, that's really 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 pretty it like flips purple once you put it on oh I'm put that in my inner corner too that's pretty the purple color with the light shimmer and go on my lower lash line with that and take a little bit of that other purple Wow, okay. I love this eye look and these colors are blending very well and like looking very nice and yes, I love. I love, that's all I can say. I love this eye look. And um, I'm seriously, I can't look, stop looking at me here. I literally love this eye look. I need to get more of these ColourPop shadows for real, because the ColourPop shadows are bomb. Like, I knew the ones in the palette were bomb, but like, the singles are bomb too. And now I'm going to try out these Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I mean, it's literally that simple. Like, that was very easy. I'm going to do the other one now. I mean, the only thing is I had a little bit of a hard time getting it to stick in the outer corner, but I mean, I have that problem when I do it with regular eyelashes and liner. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have too thin of a layer or anything so that they can actually stick good. Just like with any lashes, you do gotta play around a little bit with them, but that's honestly, with glue, I have to do that too, so. But yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna put some more lash mascara on. And I'm going to put on um, I think I'm going to put on the color Maleficent. Yeah, this has worked out really, really well. Like, this haul, everything was really good. I'm going to put on the Maleficent gloss now in the color My Pet. Which, what I like is the gloss has a little bit of, like, it has similar colors to, of duochrome to the lipstick. Not to the lipstick, to the eyeshadow. But yeah, I loved everything in this eye look, and yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see your videos for me, and I will see you later. Bye.